I'm trying hard to defend this game. I still really am trying hard. Um, I love the franchise. I love everything about it. <laughs> Uh, Mortal Kombat has been completely silent with the whole Peacemaker thing. They actually have an official tweet today. And I just don't think that it was good enough. We found out from like all around the community before we even found out officially for Mortal Kombat 1. Peacemaker is such a great character that it was stupid. I mean, hopefully it's just because they're legitimately really focusing on capitalizing on on the crossplay and all the decent issues and just all the bullshit i mean let's just be real but it is getting much harder to defend it i mean i'm still excited peacemakers coming around i did get the freaking premium edition so and this is still deemed as early access they spoke out officially saying that like peacemakers on the way on february 28th uh yada 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 just kind of has a full-on like breakdown of that and i'm just like man dude why why are they so quiet with us i guess if you want to just read it correctly officially it just says peacemaker is preparing for his arrival in the new era uh early access will be available on february 28th along with the arrival of the new season around the same time details on both will be coming later this month <laughs> It literally has taken them almost a month, it feels like, to just give us that update, which everybody already kind of knew what was going on. Uh, they updated it automatically in the game before they even gave an announcement, which is whack also. Um, it, it gets very hard to defend this type of... I don't know. Did they ever do this with like MK11 also? I don't know. I, did, I didn't run MK11 that much. I wasn't in the loop as much. So y'all got to let me know about that. But it is totally hard to defend this game now, especially as I continuously play um tech and aid and really grinding and learning a lot in that game it's like dude yeah this is getting very tough uh aside from core gameplay being incredible in mortal kombat 1 everything around it has just been very terrible and it sucks because this was one of the years i actually started getting far more serious when it comes to mechanics and mix-ups frame datas and everything in fighting games and i was like so excited because i was always a mortal kombat casual and I'm just like, yes, yes, MK1 was a perfect. Well, all the games are perfect, right? Street Fighter 6, MK1, then Tekken 8. But like, it, it was a perfect scenario, not perfect game, but perfect scenario for me to just learn all these mechanics as all these, the biggest franchise games in the world released. And <laughs> Mortal Kombat 1 just doing some weird shit, man. They're not letting us know anything. They're not doing anything. I'm just like, damn, this is hard. But at least they do give us an update. Again, I'm not a dev. I don't know how hard it is to do this type of stuff. But it does suck that there's just actual no communication. I don't know if that's on the WB side or what's going on there. Because even Noob, Noob was like, like, like Ed, Noob, I said Noob, I call him Noob, what the hell. Ed Boone is like, was super active, literally active every day, at least like first two months launch in. Like he was super active, always like getting involved with everybody. Now I don't hear from him now. I don't hear from anything from NetherRealm, of course. They're, they barely updated their Twitter to, like, up-to-date. They had it, like, on MK11 still for a long time, so they barely changed it to MK1. Um, and then the actual Mortal Kombat account on Twitter. This is all Twitter that I'm talking about. It's just never really updating us. I don't know if that's something on, like, the actual, like, the higher-ups and the corporation corporation, like, the corporate fools on that end, but... It has been such a sorry experience of communication, and it does break my heart, man, because I do want this game to get better. And it, it is flushing out a lot of the fan base, and it's uh, as I continuously play Tekken, I can understand why, like, damn, like, they really are just going to, like, just keep fumbling this game right now, Re regardless of all the money they'll always make due to MK being, like, the mainstream name itself. It's just like, damn, they really flushing out. Like, they're using... I've never seen like somebody like really just give all their efforts to just not communicate to us. The last time I can remember was definitely Warzone 2.0 with with uh, Infinity Ward. They were devs that like never really communicated on Warzone 2.0, and that's what like kind of Mortal Kombat reminds me of right now. They're just not communicating at all within their social accounts. But at least we got some today. I don't know if you still call it early access. It comes out February 28th. Again, I was excited, but I had to wait for the whole month of February just to even play Peacemaker. I'm just like, yeah. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Like, freaking <laughs> stay with, uh, like, Quan Chi, the likes of Quan Chi and Omni-Man right now. I, 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 Omni-Man is, I guess, solid, but Quan Chi, I, I'm just not doing that, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, 
Yeah, y'all let me know y'all's thoughts, man. Peacemaker's here, and uh, what should MK be doing now, bro? I, I, I think they need more communication, right? Y'all got to agree with me with that. Like, I don't hear them for shit at all. I don't know what they're doing anymore. There's just nothing. But, yeah, what do you think, MKL? Uh, what else do they need to change, man? Let me know. Peace.